story, top weather story too, this week tornado, Natasha. The images are just fascinating. Yeah, and would you believe that on average, Oregon and Washington get about three tornadoes a year? That's on average, and they're usually EF0s, EF1s. Well, here we go. We are ending September on a very interesting note. So now National Weather Service, of course, saying in case you missed it earlier, this being a weak tornado based on all of the video evidence that they collected. Now the last thing to do is to go survey the damage that'll be done in daylight tomorrow. And then the National Weather Service will confirm whether this was an EF0, EF1, or perhaps even stronger based on the damage done so far. If you want to read more about it, go to coin.com. Tyler Mode sending us that video. Thank you, Tyler. Okay, here's a loop of the last hour. We have more wet weather on the way, and some of this could bring some strong winds and also some pretty good downpours. So we're not done with the severe weather just yet. So here, based on timing of what we're seeing, radar indicated this uh, entire line of showers uh, moving at a pace of about 25 miles per hour. Based on that, then we could see showers, another round coming through Hillsboro here in the next 10 minutes. Beaverton uh, just before midnight in Portland, just after midnight orchards a few minutes after midnight. So more of that rain on the way. And again, watching out for another round of gusty winds. Rain total since midnight, 9 tenths of an inch for you, Salem. That's looking good. Troutdale over an inch. Vancouver coming in at just half an inch. You see the variety here. This is really indicative of when we get these thunderstorms popping up. You get downpours in one neighborhood, but not so much in the next. And that's when we're expecting again tomorrow afternoon. So this is what it looks like in terms of your forecast. Tomorrow, another round of thunderstorms possible. Midday to afternoon, we get a break. Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, we're right back to more showers. Thursday morning, another chance we could see some heavy downpours come through. And then look at this fabulous three-day period, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're going into some dry, sunny weather. And then temperatures by then will also be ramping up to the upper 70s. So how much rain in the next 24 hours? Again, if you get thunderstorms, you get bigger downpours, and you get higher totals. But these are some potential totals for you. Astoria, upwards of an inch. Portland, close to about a quarter of an inch or so. Seven day forecast looks like this. So tomorrow's high, only 61. Now remember this time of year, our normal high is 75 in Portland. We get to Wednesday, still on the chilly side, low 60s, snow levels down to about 6,000 feet or so. We get to Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Now we're talking about sunny weather and boy, oh boy, getting right back really close to hitting that 80 degree mark for this weekend.